Best day of the year, new bike, new kit. Wait till you see what I've got in here. <laughs> Everyone else has been getting a kit and uh, supply chain issues, I guess I'm last. So, got a nice new, well, that's not gonna fit my massive head, is it? Oh, anyway, um, nice new Danies. Hmm, they're rather small, aren't they? Hmm. What else we got? Oh, Shimano ME7s in a comedy small size. Hmm. Forget the kit. Right, onto the bike. So, all the guys in GMBN have had their Orbeos come through. I've been waiting flipping ages for my one. Wait till you see this. This is a bike and a half. Whoa. Oi, that's my bike. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. We've got a new presenter. This is Anna. So genuinely, this is the best day of the year so far because we've got a new presenter here on GMBN Tech. This is Anna, and I'm sure you're all dying to know everything about her, so you will find out over the course of this video and the coming videos uh, coming up this week on Tech. But for now, Anna, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself, the sort of bikes that you love to ride and race, and yeah, but about your sort of affair with bikes. Well, the love affair started in 2008, uh, which isn't that long ago really, but I started racing straight away. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and I started with cross country. Um, that's all I knew back then. And I worked my way up through elite and even raced a World Cup back in 2015. And um, then I went on holiday uh, to the Alps and borrowed a big bike and completely fell in love with Enduro. So yeah, the, just the adventurous side of it, the raw kind of going out there in the mountains and yeah, big bikes, big terrain. That's kind of what I've really fallen in love with lately, which is why when you said, what bike do I want? I said, I needed an Enduro bike. <laughs> I'm right. So you've got a bit of an Enduro background. So do I detect there's a bit of a racer hidden in there? Oh the yeah. Enduro yeah, yeah. I've been racing for about three years on Enduro bikes. Um, I've been sponsored by Muckoff and Cannondale for the last couple of years. Um, and I've been doing a lot of Enduro stage races. That's kind of where my heart really lies. Awesome. All right, well, there's going to be loads of questions, I'm sure, that are going to pop up. So uh, do hit us up in the comments underneath. But as far as I know, you're going to trick this out and build it up to your sort of spec uh, over today. So I'm going to make myself scarce and you can get to know Anna. Uh, I'll see you later on. <laughs> Thanks, that's, Daddy. That's my cue. Flat white, I think. Uh, starting like that, are we? So this is the Orbea Rallon and it's the M Limited Edition which is with the coil rear shock which I really wanted to run this year um, and it will come in mullet or 29 and I've chosen 29. I do love a mullet, I think mullet is fun but 29 is fast and I intend to race this bike this year if possible so 29er it had to be. And it's a 160 on the rear and 170 on the front. So I know it's gonna eat anything that's in its path. So I've always ran carbon bars. I think that's just because my XC passed. Um, I don't think they're too stiff if you get uh, a good set of carbon bars. Um, I've been playing with a 25 mil rise lately. These are a 20, um, so I'm just gonna see how they fare um, before I make any, any drastic changes. There's something really satisfying about setting up your bike straight out the box and just getting everything right so that you don't have to muck around with it out on the trail and it should just feel home from home coming from the last bike to this. So I'm just lining these up to 760, which is what I've been running for the last year and I quite like that length. Um, I actually used to be a bike journalist and the amount of times I've had to ride demo bikes in photo shoots with 800 mil bars is uh, ridiculous. Ta -da! So I've just filed down the edges of the handlebars just to get all those flakes of carbon off the edge. And I've put a bit of gripper paste on the stem just so that I don't have to torque these up too tight. I 
like to talk to the parts so they help me. So I usually run air shocks, but I never quite get it how I like it. Um, I think because I'm such a light rider, uh, the initial stroke can be a little overdamped sometimes. So I want to run a coil this year so I can get that kind of nice, supple, always active feel on my enduro bike. So I'm just taking that 400 pound uh, coil spring off and I'm going to pop on a 250. Now I did a few calculations online and this seems to be close to what I want, uh, set settings and sag wise. Um, and I've also got a couple of heavier ones just in case I want my sag to be a bit uh, smaller or if I want to run it a bit firmer, um, but who knows, uh, it's going to be a bit of trial and error first. So it's an enduro race bike, so naturally I'm going to put some enduro race wheels on here. We've got the E13 LG1 carbon race wheels and I'm just going to put some Vittoria inserts in here and some Vittoria tyres to finish up. So I do actually prefer carbon wheels. I like the kind of energy transfer that you get from them. When you hit corners really fast, you don't get any kind of delay like you might on some aluminium wheels. So I'm going to run the Vittoria Motor Trail. Um, I live in the Forest of Dean, which is suitably British when it comes to mud. So we're going to be running mud tires for at least the next month. Right, I'm going to run another motor on the front because it's still muddy as heck out on the trails. Um, I'm not going to do an insert on the front just yet. Um, I'm going to keep it nice and light at the front. Most of my weight is on the back anyway and the forks will do a good job of protecting the front wheel. So I've got a 180 on the rear and a 200 or a two Shimano 203 on the front. I've always run it that way. Um, 200s front and rear are pretty good too, but I've never had any problem with a 180 on the rear. So that's what I'm going to run now. Really starting to look like a bike now. I'm getting excited to ride it. So I'm running Crank Brothers mallet pedals. Um, I've always run clipped in, <laughs> always. Maybe that's my cross country days speaking there. Right. Just gonna get it on the floor so I can set up my cockpit and my saddle as well. Make sure everything's the right level when it's wheels on the ground. I always line up my handlebars with the stanchions on the forks. Don't know why, it's just always been more accurate for me than lining up the stem with the tire. Nice. Love that cracking sound. I like to run my saddle pretty level 
if anything a bit nose down just because most of the time the only time I'm in the saddle is when I'm winching up really steep fire roads so uh, yeah it's set up for climbing not riding now no matter how many times I've done this or how particularly you are at setting up your bike there's always going to need some adjustments out on the trail you know it's a new bike different geometry different feel so when I'm out on the trail I'll get this really dialed in. Right, that's enough fettling for today. Fun stuff will come tomorrow. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my first video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'm really looking forward to riding this bike more and getting a bit more deep into the setup, maybe tweaking that suspension just a little bit more. But if you've liked the video, then give me a like down below. Can't hurt, can it? Thanks for watching. <laughs>